Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to do a nozzle check, which is like a test page, on an Epson XP8700. Now this is nice and simple, could be done from the printer itself, and this sheet is a recommended first step troubleshooting any print quality issues you might be having. So from here, we're going to drag the screen along and we're going to go into maintenance. Once in maintenance, you'll see print head nozzle check is the very first option. So press into that, press the blue bar to print. And then after just a minute, you'll be presented with a page like this, which breaks down the six colors used by your machine. Now between kind of the vertical and the diagonal lines, it gives you a good impression of how it can produce those colors, both in blocks and in fine detail. If you notice there are any missing lines or anything in there, then there'll be a slight blockage on the print head or a severe blockage if a color is missing entirely. But the machine is asking if everything's looking perfect or if we've got any breakages in there. Mine is looking okay, but if we go into that one, your printer then asks you whether you'd prefer to do cleaning or power cleaning. If you haven't done any cleans just yet, I'd recommend going through a few standard cleans first of all to try and um, resolve the issue. But if you've already done a few cleans, they haven't helped, you've left the machine to rest for a while, power cleaning might be the, uh, the best option for you. It is more intense on the machine and it does use more ink to perform the clean, but it's worthwhile considering in the right circumstance. From here, you can just carry on doing cleans and test pages until your print quality issue is resolved. But hopefully, your test page is looking as nice as mine and you can just carry on as normal. If you're troubleshooting a weird print quality issue and your blocks are all looking okay but there's issues with your prints, I'd recommend checking out our print head alignment video, which is a process you can also find on the maintenance menu we looked at earlier. If you have any weird ink smears or anything, the paper guide cleaning is probably the best bet for you. If you found this video useful, please do let me know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, let us know down in those comments. Otherwise, Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.